Hi, this is Johnny Farty Pants, and I'm going to be showing you how to create three completely fake and completely harmless computer viruses. Uh, two of these computer viruses require fairly complicated pieces of code that need to be copied and pasted uh, at certain points. Uh, I've uploaded the information that you'll need onto Johnny, johnnyfartypants.com. If you just go onto johnnyfartypants.com, my videos and scroll down to this one here, create a fake computer virus, 3 in 1, and click on that. And all the information that you need is going to be here, uh, but we'll come back to that. And if you're watching this video on YouTube or another website that has embedded a YouTube video, then I'll actually place a link directly to that page at the end of this video. Now, the first of the three fake viruses that I'm going to show you how to make. Uh, it's fairly straightforward enough. You just go to this part here, I highlight the blue text under fake computer virus number one. And uh, you want to create a new notepad document. Open that up and paste the text in. Now, when you save this, you want to save it as basically any file name that you want. I'm just going to call this 123 but I'm going to save it as an executable file, an EXE. Now as soon as I click save, if my antivirus program is working properly, it should find it immediately and delete it. Uh, I'll call it a fake virus or a test virus or something like that. But basically uh, when you're in this position and if you click save and your antivirus doesn't pick it up, you know, it's, it's maybe time to get a new antivirus program. So I'm just going to click save and see what happens. Oh, here we are, ESET Smart Security, threat found, ICAR test file, cleaned by deleting, quarantined. Now the second of these fake computer viruses that I'm going to show you how to make is a very common one. Uh, you've probably seen videos on YouTube before how to make this virus or this fake virus. What you do is you just right click, new, shortcut. As soon as you do that, Windows wants to know where the shortcut leads to, uh, and you just type in shutdown space minus s space minus t space 30 space minus c space quotation marks, uh, we'll type in virus activated and another quotation mark. Now what all of this means uh, is this is a bunch of commands for your computer. Uh, this is a period of time in seconds, 30 seconds. Uh, and this is a, a message that it's going to display. Uh, you can change the, the timer here, 30 seconds, to anything that you want. And you can also change the message that it displays to anything that you want. Uh, but basically we'll just leave that the way it is right now. Uh, click next. Uh, type a name for this shortcut. We'll just call it. One two, one two three. Finish. Uh, and what Windows will do will create this icon here, which most people probably wouldn't click on uh, if they saw it on their computer for the first time. So what we're going to do is change the icon here. Right click properties, uh, change icon, and that'll take you into shell thirty two dot dll, which is the storage area for all the default Windows icons and you can click any of these and select any of these and change the icon for your shortcut. Uh, wh what else you can do is you can also click browse uh, and go into program files and also select the icon for any software that you have installed. I think I'll just take magic ISO. OK. Apply. OK. As you can see that looks like something that you would maybe click on if you saw it on your computer for the first time. Now when I run this uh, shortcut, what it's going to do is it's going to display a warning message saying uh, virus activated and it's going to start to shut down my computer. Uh, there'll be a timer appears and starts counting down for 30 seconds. Uh, the way to stop this in its tracks is to start, run, and this command here, shutdown space minus A, uh, and if your computer's about to shut down, that will basically stop it in its tracks. 
So I'm going to run this file. Double click. There's the message there. Virus activated. You could change that to anything that you want. Uh, and here's the, the, the shutdown timer counting down from 30 seconds. So I'm just going to stop this in its tracks by run shutdown space minus A. OK. Now, the third of these fake computer viruses is by far the coolest. That's why I've kept it until last. What you want to do uh, is go back onto that same page within johnnyfartypants.com to this part here, fake computer virus number three. And you want to highlight and copy all of this text here in blue. Copy. And you want to go back to your new text document, your new no notepad document, and paste that. And you're going to file, save as. Again, you can save this as anything that you like. Uh, I'll just call it one, two, three. And it's very important that you save this as a dot bat, which is a batch file. Dot bat, save. And Windows will create this here, uh, a batch file, which you can then run, and it will basically run this fake virus. Now, the thing about a batch file is that Windows will not let you change the icon for it but there is a way round about this. What you want to do is drag it out of sight into My Documents for instance uh, and you want to create a shortcut to that. You can drag the shortcut anywhere you want. I'm just going to put this back on the desktop again and because this is a, a shortcut file just like fake virus number two you can change the icon for this. Uh, that's us back into shell 32 again. Uh, I'll just choose a, a default Windows icon for this. Uh, I think I'll choose this one here. Apply. OK. Now what this is going to do when I run it is it's going to display a command prompt screen uh, scrolling down lots and lots of information uh, and eventually it's going to say things like uh, deleting C drive, deleting Windows, stuff like this. Uh, and at the end of it it's going to start to shut down my computer again. Uh, the way around about this again is start run and shut down minus A. So let's give this a run. As you can see it's scrolling through lots of information here. Uh, you know, if you clicked on an icon on your computer for the first time and it started doing this, you'd be wondering what was going on. What does all this mean? As you can see it says at the top of the batch file here, shortcut to 123, which is exactly what this is called. If you decide to call it something different, it would display a different message up here. Here we go. Deleting critical system files. Uh, deleting root partition. Deleting C windows. You know, if you if you clicked on this for the first time, if somebody put it on your computer uh, and you clicked on it and you didn't know what it was, basically you're just about shit your pants. You always wonder what the fuck was going on. Virus has been executed successfully. Have fun. Press any key to continue. I'll just press spacebar. And here it's, your computer has committed suicide, have a nice day. And that's it shutting down again within 30 seconds. So start, run, and this same command again, shutdown space minus A, stops that in its tracks.